Welcome to this week's ITM Cup review with Southland Centurion Jimmy Cowan playing a key role in the Stags' first win of the season. We'll hear from all those involved, including the man himself. Elsewhere, the focus was on the Shield Challenge, where Taranaki repulsed Canterbury by adapting to the conditions much the better. Bay of Plenty with the biggest upset of the round over Auckland, Counties Manukau and Wellington joining Southland as comprehensive winners of their respective clashes. I think over the last three weeks we've we've shown progress, and um, you know it's um, and it's just been unfortunate, you know, against Otago that we um, didn't get those tries, and then um, against Tasman, I, you know, Tasman are a good team, and um, you know again we let we let in a couple of tries there, and it cost us the game. And um, but no, we we've been pretty, um, I guess, positive in regards to that we are building, and and and, and that positiveness come through today. The set pieces today, the uh, the scrum was better, the line out maybe not quite so. So there'll be a day when you get both right. Yeah, I thought the line out, you know, after the first 20 minutes started to go okay. Um, you know, again, we, we threw to the back a couple of times earlier on, which, you know, again went over the top. And you know, and, and with, I guess the way we've been playing, it affects your confidence. Um, but again, no, it, it came right, and, and the scrum was a lot solid this week. And good about the finishing, that'll give the backs some confidence, wanted to actually post some tries. Yeah, it was. We always knew they were going to be physical, and, and again, we had to be patient with the ball, and we weren't for a start. And then, um, you know, it was nice to see the backs, um, you know, getting the ball quite often and doing some stepping and, and offloading, which was great. We, uh, we did start well, um, and that was a goal to come down here and, and have a good start and, and, and set the platform for the rest of the game. But it's one of those things, um, you know, you, you take the foot off the, the, the throttle a little bit and a good Southland team like that will, will, will um, get on top of you at some stage and they did straight after that with sort of three penalties in a row, you know, going into half time at 9-7. Um, uh, we were still, you know, in the game and still doing some good things but um, obviously the second half didn't help. Was the instruction to get physical because you came out, some big shots were put on? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the the game plan from you know from the first whistle actually, and uh, it didn't really kick in until you know that second half. But uh, it's, it's the nature of the game, I suppose, at the moment. If you if you don't look after the ball and you don't take the opportunities when when they're there, then uh, you end up uh, behind on the scoreboard. Yes, the uh, the lack of possession really just denied you any chance of a comeback, didn't it? Yeah, we we had an opportunity there later on in the game when Carl Lowe you know lost the ball over line and um, could have brought us back into the game. I think 23-14 at that stage. Um, but uh, it wasn't to be. But we, yeah, yeah, we didn't we didn't have a lot, lot of position, and uh, the position that we did have, we we didn't hold on to it long enough for for long enough phases, and and uh, didn't uh, didn't didn't take those opportunities when they came, and and uh, yeah, it's disappointing really. You know, we're a bit patchy, and that's um, that's been how the season's turned out. Just playing parts, and then we go to sleep, and then we're back again into the game. It's just you know, got to be consistent, and it's uh, something we've got to fix up if we want to start winning. At half time, the score was close. You're short of some possession, but you're still in the game. Yeah, no, we came into the changing rooms pretty excited uh, with the win behind us um, and then just getting back into it. But uh, Southland just got off to a rolling start. Um, yeah, and we just we were behind the back foot straight away. Probably needed to play a bit more territory, which um, didn't come. Well, Jimmy, congratulations on one hell of a treble with your 100 super caps, your 50 tests, and now 100 for the province. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Um, real pleasure. Um, as I said, it's a real milestone turn, one I'm very proud of. Uh, this one meant a lot to me. Um, yeah, I've been gunning for this one for a while, so it's been on my radar for a long time, and to achieve it's special. Um, you know, it'll sink in over time, but um, <laughs> yeah, I said uh, prior to the game, it wasn't about me today. It's, it's about about the team, and you know, it was hard over the last four weeks. You know, losing four games, and um, I said to the group, you know, self-improve as a group, and um, and you know, and you know, play with desperation, and they did that. And, and I'm very proud of, uh, I'm proud of the win. So, um, you know, we'll put a stake in the ground now, so we can we can kick on from here and go into the next week with a bit of confidence. I always said you're the best defending halfback since they're going in New Zealand, and uh, you showed today uh, you've still got it. Yeah, I'm not getting too old, am I? Yeah, I've managed to save a couple, but uh, yeah, it's something I've prided myself on over the years, and. Um, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting through. I'm not getting any younger, so it makes it uh, have a lot tougher to get to the corners like it, uh, like it used to. So, um, no, as I said, it was great to, to manage to hold up uh, two tries, and um, as I said, something I pride myself on. Did you notice the standing ovation you got uh, from the, the grandstand? Uh, yeah. When I, you I, ran out? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I, I, I soaked it in. Uh, you know, I, I got last you know, throughout the week, you know, can you pick out one game? And I can't pick out one game. Every game I've played here in front of... Uh, the people of South and I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed. Um, you know, they're, they're a very parochial bunch, and, and, and they love their rugby. They're, 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 rug, they're, they're rugby mad, and um, 
there was no difference today. You know, we've had we've had four losses and they still they still turn out in their numbers. So um, you know, they've played a big part in my rugby career over the last 12 years, and um, you know, I thank them a lot. I'd like to ask you about your first game, well, year 2000. What's your living memory of that uh, that, that experience? Yeah, still still very vivid. You know, I was an 18-year-old and um, I was playing in the Southern Country system, and uh, it was more of a trial trial game. Um, you know, I got picked to play for for South and against Otago, and uh, it was more of a trial for the NPC um, squad. And uh, I'm already got told that yeah, if I have a reasonable game today, I'd be in the Southern squad. So uh, it was still pretty vivid. So I went out there and I played I played um, you know reasonable footy and ended up making the squad. So um, certainly it was one to remember. You know, guys against like you know playing the likes of Calvin Middleton and and the boys putting the putting this. Uh, the shit in, and um, you know, I learnt, learnt the hard way at a young age, but um, that's probably helped me in good stead over the future. It was a whole life experience, wasn't it? Because I, I am, if I recall, I don't think you've been on a plane before you played for South and did you? No, I haven't. No, I, I, as I said, I, I was pretty green in, in, in a lot of places. Um, you know, it was all pretty new to me. I ended up signing my contract in, in, in the back of a car in, in a car park um, as an 18 year old, so you know, I didn't read through any of the clauses. So. <laughs> Um, just sign the dotted line, send the money, and, and, and sign the dotted line. So yeah, I, I've got rugby to, to thank. Um, you know, it's probably built me as a person over the over the 10 to 12 years, and you know, I've really grown as a person. So, um, and that's probably uh, credit to the to the family here at Rugby South, and you know, they've they've sort of guided me, um, you know, through through um, through my life. So um, yeah, I, yeah, there's a lot of people to thank, and uh, yeah, they're, they're one lot. So that's still a 250 first class games or more in 12 years. Does it feel that you've played that, uh, that, that amount of games? Yeah, I won't lie, Tommy, it is. Um, it's starting to take its toll, but um, I won't, you know, I, it's very tough playing this, this rugby in, in New Zealand. Um, they play at a frantic pace uh, with the Super Rugby and International Rugby, so uh, no doubt it's taking its toll. And, you know, as I said, I've prided myself on my defence and I've always been willing and throwing myself into contact, so um, yeah, it's taking its toll, but. By no means, you know, I'm going to England to to, to um, cash in. You know, I, I'm just looking for a change, a change of scenery and a, a different culture of rugby. And um, you know, as I'm coming to an end in New Zealand, you know, I'm looking forward to my my venture in England. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to see what the next two years holds. You'll be busy though, because they have a heavy program of games, don't they? And they play eight, nine, ten. <laughs> it's a sort of a ten-man game still. Yeah, it's it's very forward orientated, no doubt. Um, but my understanding, Gloucester um, like to use the ball, and um, they got some uh, talented backs. So, um, yeah, we'll see what it holds. I'm going into a 40-game season when I get there, so I arrive there on a Sunday, and then I'm straight into it that Saturday. So, um, yeah, we'll just see, see, how, see, how, see how the body holds up. We'll get stuck in, head down, bum up. That's been my philosophy over the last 10 years. So, things won't change, and uh, yeah, we'll just buy into the, to their concept and their culture, and um, we'll see what eventuates. And just confirm for the viewers who ask me every day, uh, how many more games will you get for South, and will you get a couple in? Yeah, for, for sure. Um, you know, I'll play uh, next week against North Harbour um, and against Northland on the on the Wednesday night, and then I depart on that Friday. So I leave leave these shores on the 28th of this month. But um, yeah, I, you know, I've, I've got to uh, give praise to David Henderson, and make you know, make special mention of his, his team. Uh, yeah, he's given me the opportunity to to play my hundredth, and it's never easy signing contracts uh, like I have. Um, but he's been upfront with me, and um, that you know, I'm immensely for that. And uh, yeah, so over the next two weeks, it, it's about probably getting the mayor into the system and me taking um, me taking a, a step back. But you know, I'm, I'll be there at trainings and, and adding some input from from the bench and uh, yeah, trying trying to help the mayor as much as I can and the other young fellas. I think I'm safe in saying on behalf of the rugby uh, public in South, and thank you very much. No, it's been my pleasure, Tommy. Thank you. In the Premiership, the top four are the same, but the order differs with Wellington in the number one spot, though Taranaki have the game in hand. Waikato made progress on the leaders, and Bay of Plenty and Hawke's Bay swap places. Counties Manukau are now runaway championship leaders now that Tasman dropped points in their loss to Northland. The Tanifars win, keeping Southland in sixth place, but within a single victory of a semi-final spot. The Stags won't get a better chance to add to their tally when taking on a hapless North Harbour next weekend.